Hi, this is Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV. What we're going to talk about today is studio and studio lighting and what we have to do as photographers to make a successful studio photograph. Adorama TV presents Visual Impressions with Joe DiMaggio, where you will learn to create compelling and imaginative photography. Here's your host, Joe DiMaggio. Hi, this is Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about studio photography. And uh, it's one of my favorite subjects. This is brought to you by Adorama TV and the people of Adorama. Keep one thing in mind. They're not only a business, they're not only a camera store, but what they are is they go out and they support photography. They support photo education. And that is a good thing. That's why I kind of love the people at Adorama and I like the concept and the programs. One of the first things I'd like you to know is it's up to you as the photographer to make the person, the child, the woman, the man, the boy, the puppy dog, whatever it is, you have to make them comfortable. That is your responsibility. So there's a psychological aspect of the portrait is to make everyone comfortable and feel good about themselves. I had an opportunity to photograph Paul Newman and I asked him for some tips and he said to me, you're as pretty as you feel and you have to make somebody feel pretty. It's up to us to make the person feel comfortable and feel at home. So that comes by talking to them, finding out a little bit about them, doing some research ahead of time and photographing, as you're photographing them, also speak to them. Um, that's kind of what it's all about. We're also going to do today a two light setup. The concept in a studio is to control light. If you control light, you control the photograph. You control the photograph, you're going to get what you want in the photograph. So we're gonna talk about a couple of different things. I strongly believe that you don't have to throw tons and tons of money at a studio photograph. In some cases, you can convert your garage, your basement, your spare room, whatever, into a working studio, which you can set up and break down simply by putting up a piece of white paper, black paper, gray paper, whatever you happen to be, paint the wall specifically to the color you'd like to do for your background. You could work with an incandescent light. You could work with a hot light. You could work with an LED light. You could work with fluorescent lights and build your own system. They sell them and they're really good. Anything you want to do, you, you're able to do it. What I like to do, again, because most of my studio work is on location, is take one or two lights and make them look like a three, four, or a five light setup. And that's what we're going to show you today. We're going to show you how to do that and how to just kind of form the light. And anytime you have an opportunity to mix the light, that's a good thing. Daylight, electronic flash. In my studio, we have built-in skylights. The skylights, depending on the time of day, will allow you to just make some great photos. We also have a couple of surprises for you on something that I've designed into my particular studio that I like using. I don't use it often, but when I do, it's usually a high-impact photograph. Let me just give you a little idea of what we're going to be using in the studio today. We're gonna to be using a, a nice old C-stand, a black one, I kinda of like the black ones and uh, we're going to use a pivot and we're going to use this new octagon uh, rhyme light reflector. Um, got a lot of different reflectors. We've been trying this one out and I kind of like it an awful lot. I, I love the way the light falls onto certain people and the, the strength of the light and the wraparound feel of the light. So that's going to be our main light, okay? That's going to be the main. It'll be the rhyme light and the power pack that we'll be using, um, we'll be using a Dynalite um, 500 watt second power pack. I've intentionally gone to the 500 watt second because we're in a relatively confined area and we don't need 2000 watt seconds. It's small, it's light, it's fast, it does the job and it's cost effective, it's not a fortune and it's easy to take on location also. So uh, that's what we're gonna use. The other little secret that we're gonna use, my favorite light of all is a bare bulb. The bare bulb to me is a minimum of two lights, at least two lights. It's certainly a background light 
excellent for separation on the person that you're photographing and the background. It doubles as a hair light or a glow light in the background. Also works for that quite well. That's two lights. If you put a reflector anywhere near it and a reflector on the other side, it actually can bring the light back over to the dark side of what we're shooting to get a three to one lighting ratio and make it somewhere between a one and a half to one lighting ratio. Simple, clean, elegant, and it does the job. Come on, Hannah. Let me introduce you to the DiMaggio Kalish Studio. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to come right over here and get comfortable. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do what we call a white on white high key portrait. And it's something that I really enjoy doing and it's an awful lot of fun. You're a beautiful woman. The white, the white, and everything is just going to be very pretty. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going to come in. One of the things, beautiful, great eyes. One of the things a lot of people don't understand is the closer the photographer becomes to the person they're photographing, in this case, this very pretty, lovely young lady by the name of Hannah, you're cutting down the air space. When you cut down the air space, you build a rapport. When you build a rapport, it's a good thing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move this reflector right here, and I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer, just like that, and then what's gonna happen is the backlight the bare bulb is going to hit the background, it's going to hit that silver, and it's going to kind of fill in on this side of you. And it's going to be a, more like um, a one and a half to one or a two to one lighting ratio versus a three, three and a half to one lighting ratio. What I'd like to do is I'd get my 100 millimeter macro lens, Canon macro lens, which is definitively, in my opinion, the sharpest macro lens that has ever been made by any camera company. Nikon makes great ones, uh, Olympus, Sony, they all make great lenses. This, just, this one's just my favorite, and it allows me to get a whole lot closer. So we're gonna continue with the high key, and we're gonna just try and get a little shots a little bit closer. Again, not to invade her space, beautiful. And not to invade her space, but I just wanna get, I wanna fill the frame. The name of the game is to fill the frame. You always wanna try and fill the frame. Hannah, beautiful, beautiful, absolutely, ah, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm looking for something just a little bit different. We try to think out of the box every once in a while. So if you'll just bear with me for a few seconds, I'm gonna come up with a little different position, if that's okay with you. Okay, great. Hannah, hi, I'm up here. Beautiful, look up. What we're doing here is when I built the studio, I built a trap door which allows me to photograph musicians, artists, everybody from an elevated position. Okay, give me a little playful. That's cool, beautiful. Let's do one standing up and then just, yeah, straight up, okay. And beautiful. Look up and give me something with your arms. Spread the, there you go. Beautiful. So, the one thing you want to remember is never hang out of this unless the camera's around your neck and you're not going to drop anything on your producer and or model. In this particular case, H Hannah. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV. Have a great, great shoot, and have an awful lot of fun. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. So that's pretty much it. And when all else fails, you know what you could do, okay? When all else fails, you could use the old flash here. Ah. Not a lot of smoke. Oh, there's the smoke. I love the smoke. I genuinely do love the smoke. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need.
For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.